Welcome to our tutorial on the Extrapolate command. Let's activate the Extrapolate command and open and explore the Extrapolate definition window. Extrapolation extends surface boundaries based on different parameters, such as tangency, curvature, and so on. Let's take a few minutes to see how this works. First, let's select this boundary. Next, let's select this surface. We have a preview here. Drag this handle to extend our extrapolation. Under limit type, we have two options. We can select length or up to element. When we right click on the up to selection field, we see that we've got a number of options to choose from. Let's go back to length for now. The next option is the constant distance optimization checkbox. Continuity types are tangent and curvature. Choosing curvature keeps the curvature of this surface. And with the tangency continuity type selected, the adjacent surfaces will be tangent to the original surface at this line here. And they're going to go in the same direction. Our next option is extremities. We can choose tangent or normal. With normal selected, we see that this angle becomes normal to the boundary line. This option can work in conjunction with the internal edges option. For example, I can select this edge and you see that the boundary now changes. Let's right click and clear the selection. Our next option is propagation mode. Let's explore this drop down menu. We've got none, tangency continuity, or point continuity. Obviously, we have no tangency continuity, so let's use point continuity. Let's enable constant distance optimization. Let's see how the surface changes when this is enabled. If we check Assemble Result, we can create a surface that includes the original surface. Let me show you what I mean. Let's uncheck Assemble Result and click OK. Extrapolate 1 and Fill 1 are two different surfaces. I'm going to right click and hide, and you see that it disappears. Right click, show. Now double click on extrapol.1 and let me enable the assemble result checkbox. Click OK. Now we've got one continuous surface. And this concludes our tutorial on the extrapolate command.